Yeah, after, I mean, don't uh, swear. After a, don't swear. After a breathless afternoon, don't you? Mark, what a fantastic comeback by your team. I thought it was no more than we deserved. I was, I was really pleased with the first half performance. You know, I, I thought desperately hard yesterday about changing it to, to how we played because I. Adam, Adam watched against uh, Wickham, saw the DVD, and Elliot Richards in that hole against and my three centre halves. That was a big dilemma. We talked about it, and me and Sean decided that well, I decided that we'd leave it as it is. So I got to take responsibility for the first goal. Um, then we were we battered them. Then once we changed, we battered them, created chance after chance. Just weren't going in. The keepers made a few good saves. Didn't quite get on the end of a final ball. Just said it off, and then we can see the second, and you think ah, that's well. People can but think that, but we, we didn't. We didn't. To be fair, half time we just said we will get something out of this game. We will. We will score goals. We will. If we still keep creating chances and believe in what we're doing, we were causing them too many problems to to not be able to get it. And then we have a chance to after the break, and then Amari heads it, and, and we're behind it, and it's it's in, and it's the full on the post, and comes straight back out to the keeper. Just thinking, is it, is it your day? And then it just needed somebody to get that first goal and we scored it at a good time. Matt Amari had a great strike, the keepers parried it and Matt Richards, fantastic run behind, followed it in, smashed it. And, and then it was to see what they're about and I said to, said to the boys on the bench, that that's a massive goal, I, I, I did not got a clue how long was left, but that first goal was massive because for the first, the next kick Trevor's had, where the two centre halves have been all over Byron all game for 60 odd minutes whatever it was all of a sudden he's gone up uncontested flicked it on Kobe on the end of it and a great finish and, and I, that's what happens in football not just at Trumby not just at Cheltenham that's what happens you get, you can see the goal and all of a sudden you're on that back foot and there was only ever going to be one winner after that we scored a couple of, a couple of great goals and I really I thought it was um, you know, one of my best moments since I've been here to be honest I thought we were excellent today um, just disappointed we conceded a couple of goals but like I said, I always felt we were going to get something out of the game. A way to introduce yourself, scoring the winner in a fantastic game like that? Yeah, it was a good experience. Um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't think I was going to score on my debut. Um, just just getting used to the boys as well. They helped me through the game. Luckily, I got the winner as well, so I'm happy with the result and my performance. Talk me through the goal. All I can remember was the ball going wide, um, getting crossed in and I gambled. I got myself across the man and I just tapped it in really. That, that was it after. Uh, your league debut, you had a little run out at Brighton, but your league, your football league debut, and yeah. uh, what an eventful game. Very eventful. Um, I was just happy to be on the pitch really and get my chance, and when the gaffer told me I was coming on, I was excited and just glad to win. Welcome back. What did he, what did he want you to do? What did he say to you? What instructions did he give you? Uh, tell him to get on the board as much as I can uh, in between the lines and just link the play up really and do what, show what I can do like what I've done in pre-season and then hopefully that worked out and it did. It certainly did and uh, uh, we thought you were going to score. <laughs> did you think you'd score with that diving header? I thought I, score, I thought I scored and I was lying on the floor watching it as it hit the post and then I just watched it go across the line and I was thinking oh, oh no, it just didn't go in unfortunately but I'm glad that we won anyway. 